this size can deliver a shock of 650 volts. That's enough to stop my heart in seconds. First go, amazing, first go. <laughs> Electric eels can keep on shocking out of water, but the rubber gloves we're wearing protect us from this. Look at the colours on this thing. These are wonderful. I've got to get a bit of clean. That is, it's doing a sort of, it looks like a muscle contraction. Spasm, almost. That's when it's actually shocking. Because electric eels get most of their oxygen from breathing air, they can stay out of water for long periods of time. That's five foot ten and a half. That's pretty much exactly the same as... This is exactly the same size as the eel that killed Francisco, the 21-year-old man who died in a tiny pond near Villa Nova. If I wasn't wearing these rubber gloves, I could be dead too. It's over 100 degrees, and I don't want the fish to overheat, so time went back in the water. may be shallow at the moment, but the rains are not far behind me. The waters will soon rise, giving this eel the freedom to roam once again. My search led me to this tiny drying out puddle. I mean, the water in there is barely six inches deep, but it's the last place you'd expect to find a river monster. But that's where it was. Hold on, I don't measure another one. There's more. There's more. There's more. It's not just this big one. There's, again, it looks like wood. But it just started moving. We were watching it, and it looks like there's actually several, but smaller, right in with these roots here. I've just never seen anything like this before. It's like a tangle of bodies. I'm just trying to count the head. The more I look, the more I see. I was thinking 10 or a dozen. I think there could be 20 down here. This is an incredible discovery and answers the final question about how the cowboys died.